Welcome back to the Hot Pot of Coffee podcast. My name is Brad. And I'm Amanda. Yes, you are. Um, Thanks. What a week. So I just got back from Florida. I was in Orlando for a week for a work conference. And uh, that was... I don't think you can say you were in Florida because you didn't even leave your hotel. No, legitimately, I landed, got into the Uber, which let's talk about that for a second. (laughs) So I was telling Amanda this earlier. This is crazy to think like getting into someone's car. Cars are super deadly and you get into an Uber driver's car. You don't know this person. They could people like, oh, you could get raped. No, they could drive into a fucking wall at 70 and kill you and you can't do shit. It would kill them too, though. But they're Uber drivers. <laughs> what? What does that mean? <laughs> Who cares? Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, but holy Ooh, shit! That was. Loud. I am sorry. That was loud. Um, but no, it's it's scary. So the Uber I took at three in the morning to get to the airport in Phoenix. In Phoenix, the girl was like, "Chill." She was, she was like, yeah, I work nights because it's all airport. Yeah. And I just work from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And I just drive back and forth to the airport and make a shit ton of money. I was like, that's actually a good way to do it. Well, I mean, also for the first few hours, you're taking drunk people home from the bars, too. Well, she she said she only works Monday through Friday. So, I mean, yeah, some Fridays, Thursdays. But she, she was like, there's not much competition at midnight (laughs) so it's pretty easy and she's like i just chill and do that i was like oh okay like that makes sense to me but then the uber driver in florida could not have been more fucking florida (laughs) i swear to god this guy gets out he's got like these like crooked janky ass fucking teeth he smells like bo he (laughs) his name is like like uh like craig or something i don't know it was like something and then he's wearing a wife beater and he's driving a fucking like off white Chrysler 300, and nice. his car smells like the inside of someone's asshole. Ew! <laughs> like his car smelled like constant farts. Maybe he was constantly farting. Probably, and he was trying to talk to me and stuff, and I was just like, "All right, I well." Hate when they do that. It was a twenty minute drive, and and to me it was funny because I was like, "All right, I need some good podcast material." But <laughs> he didn't give great, but I, I was fucking with him the whole time, and I was like, "He said, why are you here?'" And I was like, "I'm here to see the Gators," <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, the the football team?" And I was like, "No, uh, I actually uh, I'm here to study Gators." <laughs> You're and I was like, where are the gators at? And I was like, there's water everywhere. Are there gators there? He's like, yeah, there's probably gators in there. And I was like, can we see some gators? And he's like, I'll pull over if I see a gator. And I was like, cool, man. Thank you. I was like, you got any gator equipment? And he's like, did you speak in that accent? You know me. Sometimes I do that. I know. That's why I'm And asking. I was like, yeah, I'm from Arizona. And he's like, all right. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you I was like, yeah, I'm here. Like I'm that? here for the gators. <laughs> and uh, I didn't see any gators the whole time I was there. Because you were in a hotel. Yeah, so we get to the hotel, and it's the World Marriott in Orlando. And and so this is when my company just fucking, like, I don't know what's worse. Getting, like, some hot, like, fucking, getting, like, your celebrity crush to blow you until you're about to come and walking away. Or what my company did, which was put you in a hotel one and a half miles away from Disney World with your hotel room looking over Disney World, and you're not allowed to go because you have meetings the whole four days. <laughs> it was the literal biggest blue balls motherfucking move I've ever seen in my life. It's such a power move. It is. What a power move. And we, I told my boss, I was like, this whole thing is about building the community and the teamwork and all that and bringing everyone together. And I go, you want to... You want to build fucking teamwork? Go to Disney World together. Go to fucking Disney World. And my boss was like, I'm going to be straight up with you. That would have been the fucking best move they could have made. Well, yeah. Then you're like hanging out with everyone. You get to know people better. God damn it. I didn't turn on my thing. Oh, my God. I'm not timing. Sorry. Keep going. But you literally stand in line for hours. You get to talk to people. Like That's how you get to know people. That's what I'm talking about. It's the adrenaline rush. And then you have fun. And then you're at Disney World. Anyway, so that's so sad. I got blue balled like crazy, so I had to jerk off that night. But um, like while looking over at Disney World, just jerking off at the window. Well, that was a hard part. Like I couldn't jerk off there because the window blinds they didn't close all the way, and I was worried about someone. So you like, couldn't jerk off there, really? 
Well, where is it going to jerk off in the shower? Yes, that's, isn't that like the best place? It's like it, it no, cleans then you get it cha- for you. Yeah, but then you use like the shampoo or something. And you get shampoo in your pee hole, and then it stings to pee. Then don't get it in your pee like, hole. Like you wouldn't know because you've never jerked off with shampoo. But I can tell you, any guy out there knows jerking off with shampoo is good and bad. One, you don't have to clean shit up unless you like come all over like what the handles. What about conditioner? Does that sting? No, it still pees. I mean, it still stings it in your pee hole. It still pees. <laughs> still stings in the pee hole. You you pee afterwards and it's like you have an STD. Why don't you just use lotion like, in the shower? Like, do you want a reason not to get chlamydia? Fucking jerk off with shampoo, some L'Oreal or something, and then pee. And that is what fucking feels... Well, I wouldn't know what it feels like, but it stings to pee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, 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 and it fucking hurts. Any, any guy listening to this right now is like, yeah, yeah I've jerked <laughs> off with shampoo. Don't jerk off with shampoo. Like, just don't. It's horrible. But then you can't, like, <laughs> this raw, This has been though. a PSA. I can't jerk off raw, like, raw. Lotion. Like, hotel lotion? Yeah. I guess, but, like, bringing that in the shower and then water gets mixed in with it. I'm a very, I'm oh. a connoisseur of jerk offery. What if you're just in the bathroom? Looking at what? I need, like, porn. Your computer? You can set no, it up? No, it's just not a place for a computer. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm very particular. I need an office chair. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sometimes I think about how many people have jerked off in that office chair. Ew. Yeah. But anyway, so the weird <laughs> thing was, so this hotel can hold 2,000 people, but there was only, like, 1,100 of us. And there was the high school cheerleading championships going on oh, gross. so this entire hotel was filled with high school cheerleaders and the whole time we were fucking with dudes like who didn't know we we're like dude look at those cheerleaders they're fucking hot and we got so many people to be like damn she's fucking hot we're like she's a sophomore she's in high school 14 years <laughs> she's old 14, bro. <laughs> and they'd be like no and i'd be like yeah i'd be like hey how I... one time I, I said it to one of my reps and i i turned to one of the girls and i was like hey what are you guys here for and they were like Oh, high school championships. I was like, oh, congrats. I was like, what grade are you guys? And they're like, we're freshmen. I was like, got them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but they were fucking annoying. One of, one of, of them was... Of course a, they were. They're high school cheerleaders. One of them was across the room from me. And they were having like a party in one of their rooms at like 11 at night. And I could hear like 25 of them in the room. Of course. It was fucking annoying. Um, But they left that next day. And then another company was there. Anyway, all I have to say is... Kudos on the food. They they fucking they did their shit with the food. There was unlimited like drinks like Mountain Dew, Coke. They actually did open bars the entire time. Did they really? And in the bars, they didn't have one bar or two bars in these like conference rooms. There was six against each wall. Oh unlimited God. wine, red, white, and blend. Oh, and then hell no. unlimited uh al- like beer. Yeah. The Holy whole time. Holy shit. Yep. Just no hard alcohol. Whew. Yep, the whole time. So That's I just, amazing. I had like one Corona. I didn't want to get like stupid. I didn't want to get fired. Because, you, um, you know, hashtag drunk. no no sponsors yet. <laughs> um, Speaking of alcohol. We're just sharing the last of us like Maynards. We're <laughs> Magnards. Mag- Maynard? Maynard? What am I thinking of Maynard? Maynard, like the, from Cars? Oh, is that what? I don't know. The I tow just, truck? Did you not never watch Cars? Car- what? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Freaks me. I don't want to like to personify vehicles. What? Reminds me of that guy in My Strange Addiction who fucks his car's tailpipe. Okay, but it's it's a cartoon. Okay. Mm. Is it though? Is it? Um, so anyway, left uh, left Orlando, uh, ended up in the shittiest place in the world, which was Louisiana, for uh, six hours. Um, if you disagree with me, then uh, you live there <laughs> because it is a. Uh, it's a fucking swamp. I swear. I was flying over. It is it, a and swamp. Like, it's disgusting. That is the point. The bayou is a swamp. I'll buy you a new state if y'all move. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but I've you never didn't been in go New Orleans. To new Orleans. But, no, I've never been on the street. But I mean, the, I'm the sure state is a whole. Wonderful. It doesn't make up for the whole, entire state. No. You could put Bourbon Street anywhere else in the world, and then everyone would forget. There's about just Louisiana. so much like culture and history there, so that's why it's cool. But no, same one... with the Middle East, but everyone hates them. Well, I'm just saying. I'm you, just saying too. You go, you visit, you don't live there. Yeah, touche. My brother's moving to Atlanta, so I'm gonna probably not visit him there. But when he moves to Denver, I'm gonna be visiting all the times. Oh yeah. 
Um, yeah, so that's fun. And now I got to go to uh, the second worst play. I got to go to Seattle in a week or two. That'll be so much fun, assuming uh, you still have a job. Assuming you can also leave the hotel. I'm supposed to get a promotion, but we could just, you know, get sponsors and I could leave my job and put out multiple podcasts. So, week, I just want to do an audiobook podcast where I just read. Or an audiobook? No, that would be boring. I just want to read. Why like, would that be boring? I want to do audiobook jokes. You would get paid to read. Yeah, how do you even get it? You have to have a good voice for audiobooks. Yeah. I don't think I do. I, I sound like a... You talk about how great your radio voice is all the time. I have a good radio here. voice, and I have a good... See, I don't have a radio face, though, because look um, at this thing. Okay, Passover, you were reading the thing. I and was. And you were like reading it like an audiobook, and you were like, I'm so good at this. Yeah, I was like, chapter one, the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> and my whole family got mad. I was like, the Jews escaped from Egypt. <laughs> and Pharaoh... Said to the Jews, "Thou shall not pass." <laughs> Wait, that's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and and then I was like, Chapter Two, the desert. <laughs> and my family got so pissed years. off. I was like, Forty years later, 40, it was a hard road. Forty years later, the Jews had eaten manna for too long. <laughs> Abraham turned to his fellows and said. Abraham not Yo, bitch, get off my nuts. Moses, You know there was bro. some dude named Abraham. No, 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 I'm not talking about that Abraham. Who gives a fuck? They're all made up characters. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, really quick before we go on, um, we want to do – so we talked to one of our friends out in uh, Portland who was on the show. If you guys remember Johnny, he was on an earlier episode. We got to get him back on Um, see what he's up to. What? Nothing. You don't want me to do it? No, no, I want you to do it, but you, never mind. Just do what? it. No, do it. No, we just found out that we have a a listener that we just wanted to say hi to. We we, we heard that they're they're a listener of the podcast. And uh what was his name? Graham Graham Sand Graham, Saunders. Graham Saunders. So we just wanted to say hi to you, man. Uh we heard you like the podcast and listen and uh we just want to say thanks and we hey, like Hey thanks. Hey thanks. We just like want to thank people who listen to the podcast and support us so right on that was like finger guns but you just did a finger th- but you did a thumbs up i just so did thumbs you up did like, i meant to do finger guns you did too. like half a finger gun yeah it was kind of like a mm, okay um no thanks man uh we really appreciate it and uh keep listening because i'll just keep saying more dumb shit yeah no shit <laughs> what do i have next on my list um i have a lot of stuff what do you have no go you have a lot of stuff we went to a pool party yesterday yeah um we went to a pool party fun. with Amanda's friends it was fun i'm trying to think so i mean they oh have i have something to say this morning brad is like oh my god I'm, dude i'm sore fuck you i am so sore i play frisbee let me tell you how he is sore there is a frisbee game, and it wasn't ultimate frisbee. It wasn't. No, it's a, it wasn't actual frisbee. It was a drinking. It's harder game. than frisbee. You stand there and you throw a frisbee to knock a bottle off of a pole, and he is sore. You have to keep. To, he is sore. You this have to morning. keep running around, and 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 <laughs> you have to do squats to pit, to, and you have to catch the frisbee with one hand. It hurts. You didn't play. You don't fucking know my life. Oh, don't you dare! I'm gonna pull I'm, my. I'm so eye. sorry. <laughs> I, I can't even sit down without like hurting. <laughs> it's so um, sad. It's sad. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. You need to take him outside more often. Yeah. You know, after the pool party, he was like, "What is this feeling?" And I was like, "It's a good day. It's like when you after you're out all day and you're tired, and it's just like, man, that I didn't was, want to hurt that was a good day. day out in the sun, and I'm tired." And he was like, "What? Why does my body feel this way?" I'm like, "Cause you never go outside." <laughs> it hurts so bad. Um, but yeah, so we went to the pool party. I got hit on by a, a dude who's like 200 pounds heavier than me, but he's all you muscle. Hit on by him. Yeah, no, there's a Maybe guy, you were. there's a guy there and he, he's like jacked as fuck. Because he takes anabolic steroids. Oh, you know that for a fact? Yes, I know that for a fact. Yeah, he takes roids? Yeah. And then like works out constantly. Okay. Well, we, we got along great, which is weird because, like, for some reason I get along with, like, people all the time. But I'm, like, skinny white Jew who's six feet tall. So he was just talking to me about everything. And I thought he was fine. But uh, I took my hat off at one point. And he's like, dude, you got great hair. I didn't think you would, but you have great hair. And I was like, dude, thank you. And I really felt it. And, like, it wasn't – it was no homo for sure. He literally ignored everyone and only talked to you the entire time. It was really weird. People time. do that. I don't know why. 
I don't know why either. Did he really ignore other people? He didn't talk to anyone else but you. He didn't well, even talk to... Because he doesn't think the other even, guys like him. He didn't even talk to his own girlfriend as much as he talked to you. Yeah, she got mad as she was yelling at him. Because he wasn't paying attention to her? Oh, I don't know. Oh, why was she yelling at him? I don't know. They were like upstairs yelling. But, but, oh, yeah, they were in a fight. But, that was but, funny. No, I mean, like, sometimes I felt like the other dudes don't like me. I get along better with girls. That's why, I, like, at, there was like 10 girls sitting around the pool and I was just part of the girls group. You hung out with all the guys, too. Kind of. I don't know. Guys don't really accept me as much. You and Jamie maybe it's had like a half, bond. Maybe it's half gay vibe that they get off me. Like, you and Jamie had a bond. I don't know if we have. Oh, dude, we're Jewish. That doesn't mean <laughs> anything. Fuck you. That was your bond. You bonded over it's it. Not a bond. You bonded. I was like, you're Jamie, Jewish? He's like, yeah. And I was like, Okay, cool. Jamie felt that. I'm pretty sure he's told me before. And he was like, yeah, dude. And I was like, oh, okay. No, I'm pretty sure I've told you before. Um, <laughs> oh, pool party was fun. I hope we do more of those because I'm not very social. Um, and uh, that was fun. And You um, say that, but you're a social butterfly. No, I am a social butterfly. But, if, but you if, can't do it a If lot. you leave me alone to my devices, especially with <laughs> the autist that I am, um, I won't go talk to people. Like, I will sit in my comfort of my home because that's where Hulu is. Um, Cthulhu? Hulu. <laughs> so, pool party was fun. I just wanted to let people know that we had a pool party and it was fun. Um, I'm sure everyone's oh, I didn't really get, happy for I us. I didn't get my sexy picture on the fucking float. That's God okay. We it. can go back next weekend. You can take your I sexy I doubt they're going to have another pool party next weekend. They might. If I tell Jerry that we're coming over, she'll just be like, okay, cool. And then you can take I your... I don't want to just go over. We can just go I over. I want there to be a pool party. You can take your picture on the unicorn and then you can leave. And I'll just go play with the cat. So, <laughs> oh, you know what I also have written down in my notes that I forgot to talk about that was before? The Uber driver in Phoenix was just as bad coming back. <laughs> she picked me up and I immediately got the okay so the, I'm going to be unapologetic for a second and I'm to, I'm not trying to be oh, just for a second I'm not this is not trying to be politically incorrect okay uh, what are you about to say <laughs> okay so I got picked up by a very nice African American lady and I got into the back of her car and I was like hi how are you like thanks for picking me up and she did not say a fucking word to me she was just like uh huh and then, like, I got in her car, and she was driving. That's she was driving. the ideal Uber driver. What are you talking about? I know. About? She was just, like, rude to me, and I don't know if it was... I felt like it was... I don't know, because, like, she got a call during it, and, like, she was talking to, like, her husband or whatever, and she was, like, super nice and stuff. And then when I talked to her, like, just to give her directions or whatever, she, like, basically ignored me and, like, like barely talked to me. And I was like, okay, is it a weird thing? Like, I don't know what's going on. So it, it made me feel very uncomfortable and, like... I don't know why. It was, it just made me feel uncomfortable. I felt judged because of my skin color. Oh, my God. I'm not trying to be... Uh, what? Oh. So I can't feel judged, but other people can? Oh, my God. I highly doubt that's why she didn't talk to you. Well, I don't know. Well, that's not the first... That was the only thing she knew about me. Unless she knew I was Jewish and she was a Nazi. <laughs> you don't know? Maybe. I don't know. But uh, that's all... That's all I... Maybe she just didn't want to talk to you. Because I was me. No, just because she just didn't want to talk. I don't want to talk I to I felt people. me too. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I love pissing around off when I say shit like that. <laughs> no, but um. anyway, I just want to say that about the Uber. I've had very bad experiences with Uber last uh, week, and uh, I don't appreciate it, Uber, uh, if you could fix that. Um, and make me feel more welcome. And then also put air fresheners in all the cars because uh, smelling a oh Florida my man's God. farts. On the way to your brother's wedding when I Ubered there, the entire car smelled like old smoke that like, had tried to be covered up. And I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. I'm going to step out of the car, go into this wedding and meeting your entire family. That's and why I was you don't going to smell like smoke. That's why you don't smoke cigarettes in your car. It gets in the headliner. So yeah, it, it doesn't gets come out. everywhere and it doesn't come out. And yeah. I could tell she tried to cover it up because she was an Uber driver now. But it was just like seeping into me. With Febreze Air Effects? Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> not spo I don't not know sponsored. if it was Febreze or Glade. <laughs> Did you know it lasts 1,400? Not sponsored. <laughs> um... Okay, what's on your list of things to talk about? Oh my god, I was going to talk about so yesterday. I um, Amanda had a snake named Severus Snake. I did have a snake patient, but I'm not allowed to say their names. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> There's so many people who have named their snake that. Who gives a fuck? It's HIPAA violation. Oh yeah, someone's going to go find this snake now and then release its prior. It's a HIPAA violation. It wasn't a hippo. It was a snake. <laughs> 
hippa. I'm not allowed to say my patient name. Yo, use a hippa, bitch. <laughs> use fat like a hippa. <laughs> Oh, He's a fat hippo. It was a crazy week of exotics this past week, though. I had a snake patient. I had a sun conure that I did surgery on. I had a, a gecko with prolapse rectum. Okay. I had a chinchilla with a broken foot. I still was, think that gecko thing is stupid. Oh, this gecko, my God. This gecko had a prolapsed anus. If you've never seen that, go to Pornhub and type no, in prolapsed do butt. do not type that in. It's what happens when your butthole comes out of your body. Your rectum exits your body it happens a lot in like let me tell you something like in porn when like they do it on purpose but like if you're having anal or whatever and why you're not the properly fuck lubed, would you do that on purpose i don't know if you're not properly lubed up for why anal would you, you can prolapse, prolapse someone's rectum, rectum out of their purpose. butthole and this gecko did anal and it did not do <laughs> anal okay listen to me here listen to you <laughs> listen here listen here son um Exotic pets and pocket pets are not just disposable things. They are creatures, and they are super cool creatures, and you can't just throw them out because they cost you $50, okay? Yeah, first but of how all, much was it to put its first, butthole back in? Because if here's my thing. If the, if the procedure costs more than the animal, get a new animal. No, that is not true because, first Except of all, for listen to me. First of all, this gecko, leopard geckos, let me tell you all, they can live to be 30 years old. So don't just go buy your child a leopard gecko for a pet. Can't thinking, parrots thinking get like it'll 90? die in five. Can't parrots yes. live to 90? So like, it's fucking crazy. When, like, so we're taught that we have to educate our clients if they're like, hey, doctor, should I go get a, like a macaw? You'd say, no, you will die before the bird does. And who's going to take care of it? Anyway, so leopard geckos can live to be like 25, 30 years old. This leopard gecko was 14 years old. Like, her son had had it his entire life, basically. And they hadn't taken care of it properly because no one teaches people how to take care of exotic pets properly. Oh, my God, you are not even listening to me because you're playing with your fucking cat right now. I'm <laughs> no, I'm listening. You. I'm listening. I'm listening. No, everyone gets pets and... I'm going to fucking murder He you. wants to play. No. Okay, go. <laughs> we are recording right now. What is wrong with you? It's my exotic pet. <laughs> He's not exotic. He's a domestic <gasps> short hair. Oh, he's not looking at me anymore. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Okay, you get your exotic pet from Pet like PetSmart or Petco and they hand you like a basic care sheet, but it's wrong. And then no one takes their exotics into the vet until they're dying. So no one knows how to take care of him. So for 10 plus years, this gecko was being taken care of improperly. It had the wrong temperature gradient, had the wrong humidity, had the wrong food source, had the wrong heat and light source, and it was on sand. So the thing was eating sand every time it ate a cricket. So when it did anal, it just... No. So finally, <laughs> all the sand just collected in there. And because you didn't have the proper humidity and light, he had a sand impaction and that caused a rectal prolapse. So if you fuck up for 14 years taking care of this pet and then all of a sudden it's your fault that it's dying, you better fucking pay to fix it. So tell me, how do you really feel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I still disagree with you. I think that it's a gecko. No. I think if it was your dog or your cat or like your snakes are pretty expensive and hard to find. But like they a are gecko, not I can't. Oh, we live in Arizona. I'll go find you a gecko outside. It's a leopard gecko. It is not. You can't find those here. Yeah, because they're leopards. They just hide in trees. Oh my god. And they eat. Do they eat mini antelope geckos? Yes, yes, they do. What color was it? Well, it was supposed to be like the yellow with the black spots, but it was like so fucked up. It was all pale. What's that nursery rhyme? Red and yellow kills a fellow or something? Yeah, like red that? on yellow kill a fellow. Red on black, friend of Jack. It's so if red is touching yellow on a snake, it's That's a, what I want. You want a fucking... Um, I want a viper. I want a called? poisonous... It's, no, a coral snake. Coral King snakes are the... Coral snakes are not vipers. King snakes are the red on black and they're nice. They're not poison. They're not venomous. Hmm. What about Rodney Danger Noodles? Rodney Danger Noodle is going to be our hognose snake one day. <laughs> Rodney Danger Noodle. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. So oh, I also had a snake. Yeah, well, yeah, now now Amanda has to go work on horses. Um, not in the way that uh, not like how they do it in porn. Um, oh but God! <laughs> people, I can't believe girls fuck horses. That's disgusting. Like people die. I know. 
Because horse dick is mean. It's huge. It's huge. Also, that's just gross. I mean, we saw those horse dildos. I showed you the horse dildo. Did I show you the horse dildo alone, or did I show you it getting inserted into someone? I think you just... I, no, you did show me getting inserted. I showed you the it porn part. disgusting. Yeah, yeah. It's stretched, horrifying. It stretched that pussy, yeah. It's so gross. Yep. So, but but that's like safe way to do it, right? Um, <laughs> that, that's the safe way um, is the deal. But, but a horse... You'll, it doesn't care. No, it'll crush you. It'll kill you. It'll just it'll go right past your cervix. It just it'll just go oh, right in. Ew. And yeah, also junk shows no, horses. a stallion is probably like the craziest creature on earth. Why would you ever want to go anywhere near well, it? Well, they mostly fuck donkeys, like in Mexico and stuff. They mostly do donkey shows Ew. where the girl fucks. They a donkey. have donkey shows. Yeah. How gross. do you know this? What do you mean? Everyone knows this. I don't know this. Yeah, of course you don't. But what does everyone that else. Mean? No. Ask Jackie, she knows. Everyone does not know this. Every guy knows about donkey shows. I'm gonna ask a bunch of Next guys. Next time we're with Jamie, you'll be like, Hey, do you know what donkey shows are? And he's gonna go <laughs> No, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna survey a hundred different guys and see how many of them know what this is. Yeah, go around to a bunch of guys asking about donkey shows. I see will. where that gets you in I life. Will. Jesus Christ. Watch me. It's going to get you fucking fired is what it's going to get you. It's going to get me fired. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Oh. Um, next up. Amanda and I just watched this really interesting video. I just showed her. I'm really interested in it. Which one? Lightsaber dueling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the French Federation of Fencing. I can't believe I just got that right. Um, officially made lightsaber dueling a official sport and it could be showing up in the Olympics within the next decade. And I totally agree with this. It's fu- it, and if you're laughing right now, suck on a dick because it is so hard. I don't see hard. why anyone would not want it. Fencing is already an Olympic sport. What's the difference if you just add lightsabers? To yeah. It? Lightsabers is just like virgin fencing. Actually fencing is virgin fencing. So lightsaber. That's not true. <laughs> fencing is like what rich people do. Yeah, it's like golf. It's like the next <laughs> level of golf. How it's, rich are you? No, I all, golf. How rich are you? Rich I fence. All the rich kids learned how to fence at like their boarding academies. Like levels of wealth. It's like <laughs> it's like middle class is golf. Fencing is like upper class, and then top one percent is like polo, <laughs> like horse polo. Yeah, horse polo. Yeah, not water polo. No, water polo is for the poor. Um, <laughs> oh <my> so. God. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you peasant, you play water polo you in, no, in your community that's like, pool. That's like rich kids at their like private schools. They play water polo. Yeah, when it's too cold to ride horses, <laughs> so um, they just ride the poor kids in the water. And they're in heated infinity pools. Yeah. So uh, lightsaber doing looks fucking sick. So the way it works is you have to come back. The the tip of the lightsaber has to come behind your back before every single strike. So you have to flourish and shit, just like in Star Wars. That's the grossest sound ever. I shouldn't have handed that to you. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I'd be into it. Yeah, I would. I'd fight some bitches with a lightsaber. But for me, I want real lightsabers. I want like life or death scenario. You slice right through people. It's actually really nice because it immediately cauterizes the wound. Yeah, like Qui Gon Jinn, just right in half, no blood. Yeah, you know more about me. More than me. So. Of course I do. I am a Star Wars Qui Gon Jinn, is that Japanese? I haven't hit that chapter yet. <laughs> that is Liam Neeson. I'm just you kidding. Fool. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know that scene. That was uh, uh, Darth Maul who did that. Yeah, good job. Boom. I was kidding. Bigger nerd than you. Not with Star Wars, you're not. What other nerd shit do I have to talk about? Oh, this one is interesting. So, to the Stars Association just uh, launch, it is, check this out. Is this the new NASA for rich people? No. So it's run by Tom DeLonge, Bunk 182 guy. But oh, you know, you know he's, who, the, he's the aliens. Yeah, but yeah. you know who else runs it with him now? Hillary Clinton. No. He was emailing her about it. Yeah, but Hillary Clinton's emailed some fucking other people too. We don't know about So. Oh, my God. Um, he runs it with a former DOD official, a former CIA operative, and another How per- the fuck did he get in this? Because these people want to push out the truth. And so these people have said, like, these uh, these people have their credentials. The, this guy from the DOD Aerospace Engineering and another guy from Skunk Works, which is Boeing Skunk Works is where they make, like, the weapons and shit like that and, yeah. and research. They all, like, quit, like, a day or two before they joined this association. So everyone knows who they are. And they've come out and said, like, yo, UFOs are 100% real. 
100%. We have, uh, there are government agencies who have been looking into it for years. We have non blurry bullshit video footage technology. Like we want to spread this out and they're calling on all the governments of the world to like actually finally release this shit and show it. And uh, I think that would cool. cause mass panic. Not, you know it. Not would. if you do it correctly. No one's going to do it correctly, and it's going to cause mass panic. That's why they haven't released it. I think they haven't done it because of religion, because that'll just disprove so much religion, which will cause mass panic. But in it'd be everyone. so great because fuck everyone. <laughs> um, but it's the technology. Like we could be so much further. That that's what pisses me off. I think the most is uh, if this shit is real. And the government has known about it and they have it. The fact that, and this is 100% true because DARPA has technology decades ahead of us that they keep from the public. And it's just. There's a reason, though. We could be like, we could have real lightsabers. mm, I don't think. Unlimited energy. We could have unlimited fucking energy right now. Think about this. If they they have captured like any sort of fucking unlimited energy device, anti gravity, whatever, and they can make unlimited energy, which I guarantee you they have some sort of energy device. They literally won't do it because of all the gas companies of and course, all that. Of course, they wouldn't it's allow bullshit. it. They would murder everyone who tried to put it out. That's what happens. I'd murder them. Mm. Bitch. Okay. I'm so annoyed. This just gets me so riled up. <laughs> or what if they haven't told anyone because the aliens really do anally probe? They probably do. I mean, maybe that's how that gecko prolapsed. He was anally <laughs> probed by an alien? Yeah. The aliens were like, these are all the species of the planets. And they picked up the gecko and they anally probed it and it prolapsed. And they were like, guess not. Mm. I mean, maybe you know what happened? They probably used to anally probe. And then they accidentally picked up some girl who like loved it. <laughs> and she she was like, oh, God. Or what yeah. if that started at all? Yeah. Or they act, the first guy they ever picked up was gay. And they anally no, probed No, not him. even like gay. Just like they just pick someone up, anally probe them. And he's like, wow, that was awesome. And then he started the movement. And they were like, they, humans must love anal probing. And so now they have so many different options for anal probing. Um, and and I just imagine like they've got buzz like now. Yeah, they n- created all the dildos. <laughs> oh, aliens for sure created dildos. What if they created the gays? Oh, my God. That's how the first gay guy created it. An alien picked up a guy, fucked him in the ass with a dildo, and the guy was like, there's something to this. And then he went back down to Sodom, and he was like, yo. <laughs> yo, this shit Fuck me in the ass. Awesome. This shit is on. It's a Liddy. And that was where the term Liddy came from, with Sodom. Um, <laughs> he's like, yo, this is Liddy Sikinarna, bro. Like Fuck me in the ass. 15,000 years ago. <laughs> Come in my ass. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so uh, that'll be interesting to follow up on. I really want to know how... I don't think been. Tom DeLong should be the head of this because then it just makes it more of a joke than... Like, I can't take it seriously because he's the head of it, you know? I really want him to get abducted so I can go, uh, miss you, miss you. <laughs> don't, don't waste, waste your time, time on me. <laughs> That's what he does. He gets ki- He gets abducted and he's like, they're like... We have him, and he's like, no, don't waste your time on me. I'm already the voice inside my head. That's the words, right? Yeah. You're the voice inside my head. And they're like, yes, we are. We have been inside your head forever. What do you think aliens are? fuck Tom DeLonge in the ass. (laughs) Tom DeLonge penis in his ass. DeLonge penis. Um, Okay. Let's... uh, Transitions are weird. So, um, <laughs> you know who James Charles is, right? Why would you stop? Sorry, it's a suture I'm playing with. You know who James Charles is? Who? Seriously? I mean, maybe. Who is he? The YouTuber makeup asshole? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know who he and is. And then you know who JoJo Siwa is, right? You're damn right. I do. Yeah, I do. Hang on, you So fucking yeah, annoying. Fucking, okay. Yeah. But she makes like $40 million a month. Yeah. So. <laughs> My cat's tail really quick. So people are freaking out this week on James Charles because, first of all, these YouTubers go on tour. I don't get it. Yeah, they do. People want to see them. I get like podcasters going on tour because you can do a live podcast in front of like an audience. Like uh, this this might get weird, did? Yeah, yeah. Which is fine, right? Like comedy. It's like a comedy thing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fun. Like podcaster, you can go because it's like watching a a little a live podcast uh, a session. really shitty comedy routine 
Um, <laughs> but with with YouTubers, what the fuck do you do? You go watch. You go sit there and watch them I, jerk off. It depends off? on the YouTube, like what you do. If you do like comedy things, then yeah, you can do that. But if what's JoJo Siwa do? Yell at people? She doesn't she sing? Oh yeah, she was a Disney star. Yeah, right? she sings. Huh. So uh, people are freaking out on James Charles because, and and I don't side with these people. So a, a general admission ticket is like fifty to eighty dollars. Okay. VIP one is a hundred and twenty five dollars, and then like all encompassing VIP is five hundred. Wait, is this to his? His thing. What does he do? Does uh, he just do like know. makeup Put on stage? Makeup on his nipples? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. What do you do? So the normal ticket is obviously just the ticket to go. VIP yeah. one gets you VIP seating. Okay. Like in the front rows. And then the $535 one gets you, he calls like his group, it's the sisters. Oh, okay. And you get like a pre-party with the sisters and james charles like probably in a green room okay. and then you get like a picture with him and his autograph and and that so people you know these youtubers a lot of their fans are young they're like mm-hmm. james charles i'm sure they're like 14 to 16 years old and, and people are freaking out because they're like well, the kids don't have that much money. It's definitely going to be their parents spending it. So. Why would you charge five hundred dollars to fourteen and fifteen year olds? And I'm like, dude, don't be mad because he's a businessman. Everyone charges that for those kinds of VIP things. Why would he be any different just because his demographic is? I think it's because his demographic, right? So you're you're well, saying... even like even like for bands, sometimes their demographic is younger. They're not going to charge any less for their VIP tickets just because their demographic. Yeah, like is when like... I went and saw the Wiggles, like <laughs> yeah, right. No, even just like you know, you know what I mean. Just like any like boy band. Like the fucking Jonas Brothers, I'm sure their VIP tickets are thousands of dollars. Yeah, but it's different than a YouTuber, I guess. But anyway, I don't agree with it. I I think 500. Don't be. You can charge whatever the fuck you want. The you worst, don't have to buy it. The worst argument you can make here is they already have money. Why do they need that much money from you? Go fuck yourself. That's how they made the money in the first place. If you don't like it, don't fucking spend money on it. Yeah, I don't. Why would anyone? Like that's called capitalism, bitch. I don't get it. Like, why do you people complain about how much money something costs when it's optional? <laughs> Health insurance, I understand. It's not optional. A ticket to James Charles is fucking optional. Mm-hmm. Don't buy it if you don't like it. That's also <laughs> how capitalism works. You can drive people under the fucking table by not buying their shit if you don't like it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. People are stupid and they have to complain about something. <sighs> but that's nothing. Compared to what we're about to talk about. Jojo Siwa. Mm -hmm. Guess how much her VIP ticket is. And remember, what do you think her age range is? Because she's... Well, one, she's a Disney star. And she makes most of her money off her bows. This is true. She sells like 40 million bows a month. That's crazy. Something like that. Or like a year. I don't know. I lied. (laughs) Um, I made that number up. Don't make up these statistics. I heard 40 million from something. It might have been Jews, but let's... Oh my God. (laughs) Let's just talk about this for a second. Oh, he's right wing. I'm a Jew. I can say that joke. (laughs) Um, How many... uh, So what would you say? Probably like 8 to 12 years old. Yeah, maybe. Or, like, even, even... I mean, there's probably people that are older that, like, grew up watching her on Disney. I don't know. So she has multiple packages, like, starting in the 50 to $80 range yeah. and, like, going, like, 100 200 th- Guess what her top VIP ticket for JoJo Siwa costs? Two grand. 5000 Wait. Uh, $5,325. Also... If she's charging that much, people are paying for it, so you can't complain. You get like a VIP booth like to sit in, and here's the kicker. You get first dibs at the merchandise stands. Oh my god. So you have to pay you five get, grand. You get the bow that you want. You have to pay five <laughs> grand to be the first one to be able to spend more money. <laughs> okay, if you're How spending if you're spending happens. five grand on that, you clearly don't give a shit about money. Like, you have enough. It doesn't matter. Well, that's 100% the parents spending that money, too. Well, yeah. 
And those children clearly get whatever they want anyway, so what does it matter? It doesn't. I'm just saying. That pisses me off <laughs> so much. Um, do you have anything else to talk about? Mm, I think I probably wrote something down. I'm sure you did. I'm sure I did. Oh, I was. <laughs> it was funny. Um... Yesterday, I walked out of my uh, my spin class, and there was just like a group of of people like exercising outside, and I I didn't really pay much attention to it because I was I was like on my way to Jamba Juice because I wanted a smoothie, right? This is the whitest story I've ever heard. So I, I got out of my spin, cl- spin class. I was in spin class, and, and then I, I was like, really wanted. A I smoothie. really need an orange guava, gluten free with whey. Um, oh so God. I went to Jamba and you wouldn't believe what I saw. I saw these fuckers doing yoga out in the quad <laughs> and we don't do yoga out in the quad. And this bitch had Lulu's on from like 2005 fucking cunt. Okay, go. Sorry. No, that was my story. You basically summed it up. Oh, okay, really? Thanks. Bye. Seriously? Of course not. Do you uh, actually think that's what I would say? Yes. <laughs> Keep going. What was your story? Keep going. No, I'm done. I'm done. So, no, okay. So, the, so, working. so these people were working out, and I didn't really pay attention to like what was going on. And then afterwards, after I got out of Jamba, I realized that they were like a bunch of moms working out, and they had all of their children just like strapped into their like basically like baby yarns. Ba- no, it's like straight jacketed and into their strollers while they're like working out outside, and all the children are just screaming. <laughs> That's how you do it. But it was just so funny. I'm like, and it's like I'm not. Like, that's great that they're actually, you know, trying to find time to work out, whatever. But I just thought it was so funny because all of the children are just, like, locked into their strollers and are just screaming while their moms are doing burpees, like, on the sidewalk. Why were they there? I don't know. Like, is why did they meet up on the sidewalk? I don't know. It's a very, like, weird place. It was like, hey, let's have a place where you can all bring your children and just leave them in their strollers. (laughs) That's hilarious. I wish I could have seen that, taken a picture. Yeah, I didn't take a picture. Mm, we should have. I just, looked, put at, that on the I just looked at it and was just laughing because they were all screaming. Okay. You know what I want to do now? What do you want to do okay. now? Uh, I want to make this a normal part of this show if I can because I really enjoyed it last week because I'm an asshole. Oh, your um, relationship advice Relationship column? advice because it makes me feel so good as a person. First and of all, every single one is the same though, just in a different age group and like demographic it's like my girlfriend my Um, wife cheated on me what should i do find one that's not that and then that'd be cool yeah this one's kind of not so um, (laughs) it's kind of not i like it it. and if you don't like this segment um of the podcast and you don't want us to do it uh feel free to email us at just kidding go fuck yourself it's my podcast (laughs) um i really like doing this and it's fun to talk about and um I do this for me and, and for you. But I do this for me. I do this for me. Until I get a sponsor, I do this for me. And even when I get a sponsor, I do it for me. <laughs> oh, my God. So uh, I, this first one, uh, I was reading on the toilet earlier when I was taking a fat shit. So Ew. Um, <laughs> it's left my girlfriend at a bar. Did I do the right thing? Ooh, at first you're like, I don't know. But wait, we're about to get there. <laughs> this girl is one of those girls that gets like blackout. Drunk. Okay. And uh, okay. She, then the answer is no. You did not do the right she, thing. He says she promised me she would never get drunk like this again. Um. After they went to a party and shit. Okay. I'm just gonna read this paragraph because the last part. Oh wait. I already ooh, hate ooh, this. And he, and from the time I read it on the toilet, um, and took that shit, he updated. So oh. we have a closing to the story. Oh, so, wonderful. Uh, he says the plan was to watch a concert, get some food, go back home. Instead, after the concert, she meets up with some old friends. Uh, party people, immature, like he's 30, almost like me. So like, he doesn't have time for this shit. He says, okay. um, did he actually say that or yeah. did you just, no, okay. uh, he says I'm 30, not my type of people. Okay. Uh, so we blew off their, our plans, followed them to a bar. Uh, she's stumbling, tripping, slurring and ignoring me. I'm trying to get her to eat because she's already near blackout. I'm sitting there watching her start feeling up some other guy right in front of me. I said, fuck it. Went outside. She starts texting me and asking me where I'm at. I came back and she starts doing the same thing to another guy while he's kissing the top of her head. I explained to her what she's doing and how it made me feel and how it was disrespectful. Then she goes getting mad at me, denying she was touching guys like that and saying I wasn't making, she's saying that I wasn't making myself present and they were. 
So right off the bat, let me tell you, your girlfriend's a fucking skank. I've seen this before too. I've seen this. Girls be like, well, you weren't there and I needed someone. <laughs> and uh, I can tell you right now, as someone with medical background, um, getting drunk does not mean you don't know what you're doing. No, it's so true. You know what you're doing. Drunk words are it sober just thoughts. makes your inhibitions go away so that you'll actually do what you yeah. are thinking about doing. Um, so his first update was she got mad at me for leaving her. Uh, she's really drunk slurring her words. I'm just ignoring, I'm ignoring her, um, right now. And then update number two, she woke up the next morning, walked to the other room, hugged me and apologized right away and asked if I was still mad at her. Kept saying she was sorry and didn't remember. I told her what she did and how it made me feel. She seemed remorseful, but I need a way to convey that I won't tolerate it happening again. Break up with her, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus, it's not that hard. Why do people always ask these stupid fucking questions? Yeah. I mean, she clearly is not going to change this behavior. <laughs> so. I don't think there's any way out for him. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if I read this one last time. I think I crossed the line in my wife and I's open marriage. Oh, my but God. But I'm struggling to empathize with my wife. Oh, my God. Okay, so look, I'm going to... This one actually interests me a lot. Oh, so, so to finish off the last one. Dude, you're fucking idiot. Your girlfriend's a dumb bitch, and she's obviously she not mature. She needs to grow up. Yeah, just break up with her. Because she's not going to. No. So. And I guarantee you, dude, it's going to be all good. You're going to break up with her, and she's going to fuck one of those dudes that night. So just. That was not um, my phone. That was my mother texting me. Um, <laughs> so sorry about that. All right. Um, I really want to read this one, though, uh, because this this to me is fucking crazy. My okay, he says my wife forced me into a temporary open marriage. She forced, forced you? you. We recently both turned fifty. Oh, I've been together since college. Uh, she's so I guess as a part of a midlife crisis, she had never been with any other men. She proposed an open marriage so that we could both experiment and then close our marriage for good. Uh, obviously, very few men will take the news. I want to sleep with other men. Well, and so I refused <laughs> at first, but she made it clear that if I didn't agree, we'd have to separate. Oh, and God. I went along with it. After all, it's going to happen both ways. So what the hell? Maybe I'll enjoy it. Besides, it was only going to be a temporary arrangement. That's not temporary. I mean, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's stop for here for a second. On one hand, I disagree with her saying that. Um, and I disagree with him thinking that. But on the other hand, half of me is like, he's kind of intelligent because he does understand, well... If I separate, she's going to fuck other dudes anyway. If I stay with her, she's going to fuck other dudes anyway. But then maybe we They're can still be They're 50 years together. old. Yeah. So let's see where this no, goes. No, I understand what he's doing, but her saying it's temporary, it's like, that's not what this is. If I, don't, I feel like that's something you would both have to come to together in order for it to be temporary. If it's what you're wanting to do just because you haven't... You didn't get to sow your wild oats in college because you were with the same person. Then it's not going to be temporary. I like how sow wild oats just means come all over someone. <laughs> um, okay, let's continue. She starts matching with guys on Tinder, going out to bars. I don't know how successful she was as we had a rule to keep it out of the house. And quite frankly, I don't want to know. I matched with lots of younger girls who are into older guys. They were very attractive, but the sex was boring. I mean, all of it was basically them just laying there and me doing all the work. Not very nice. It's called starfishing, bro. <laughs> um, and, dude, to me, okay, I've never had someone starfish because you got to be forceful. This guy just automatically, I know he's just a pussy. Like, dude, if you want a girl to fucking bend the fuck over and put her face in the pillow, you bend her the fuck over and put her face in the pillow. You want her to get on top of you, fucking put her on top of you and fucking jackhammer her until she starts to move on her own. You're just a pussy. She's not a fucking starfish. You're just a fucking pussy. You don't know how to fuck. Let's continue. Anyway, at this point, I mean, maybe he doesn't. And that's why his wife was like, yeah, probably, you know, probably small dick McGee over here. Anyway, at this point, I figure I should just see some escorts. Ooh, not, not a bad uh, idea. Okay. Since the experience is probably going to be more enjoyable. So I asked my wife, if it's okay to me to see escorts. She agrees, provided I always use protection. And I keep my spending to a minimum. That's fair. All right. Yeah. Now to cut a long story short. Yeah, this is long. I ended up becoming a regular client to this one girl. Oh. She's a college student. Oh, dude. Oh, nice. No. Working to pay her student fees, living costs. Power to you, bitch. Whore. 
Uh, but power to you. We kick it off and her fees become less and less as time goes on until we're actually going on dates and stuff and no money is involved. Oh my it's God. still involved. You're taking her out on dates. You're an idiot. <laughs> it really, it wasn't really a single moment. Over time, I just uh, stopped being a client and started being someone else to this girl. A wife finds out after reading my phone and is accusing me of having an emotional affair. The girl in turn well, finds out yeah. that my wife knows and is telling me to go steady with her, saying she'll quit sex work oh, for me. Oh, my God. I know I should choose my wife, but honestly, I find myself thinking three things. <laughs> Chapter one. Oh, God. Our kids are all grown up, so they're no longer consideration. Okay. They're, you can't say just because they're grown up, they're not a consideration, but okay. Why go. aren't they? Why? They're grown up. They're out of the house. Fuck them. Don't fuck your kids. I mean, like... <laughs> Fuck them. Who cares? They're out of the... They're not... No, I agree with that point. The kids aren't living in the house. They don't have to deal with the turmoil of, of that shit happening. Okay. Chapter two. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I can still love my wife the same way after she coerced me into an open relationship. I guess Fucking so. agree, dude. No, that's true. Because if you had both agreed on it, it wouldn't be such a big deal. But because she fucking made you, you're going to be resentful. So, yeah. Totally agree on that. See, instead of an open relationship, you should have said to your wife... Let's have a threesome with another girl yeah. who's really good, like a lesbian, a bi girl, and well, watch no, her, how good she eats her your fucking pussy. Okay, no. The wife wanted to get fucked by another dude, like 100%. I think a lot of girls need to be fucked by a girl before they decide because <laughs> girls eat pussy and can fuck a girl better than any guy can. No, that's true, but I'm just okay. saying. Um, chapter three. Oh, Despite the up. age difference, I get along with this girl so much. Her body... Youth is an obvious plus. Ugh, he didn't do that, but I added that. Uh, <laughs> dude, fuck yeah, dude. I agree with you. Uh, oh, and then I just want to say the first part of uh, someone asked a really good question. If you don't mind asking, do you and your wife still sleep together? And oh, he said, our question. sex life died the moment we had an open marriage. Every Ooh. time I tried, she would tell me to go find a girl. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you can come back from that. Dude, you did not cross the line, bruh. She kind of crossed it initially because going, like, making you do something you didn't want to do is already... I mean, it's not, like, anal, like, right? It's no. worse than that. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's, if you weren't in for this, then it's basically like she's cheating on you, and so... Yeah, she is, and you got a younger, hotter version, so you trade it up, right? Okay, no, that's not the moral of the story here. Like, no. He didn't. Trading up is not cool, but your did, wife fucked you over he, in the first place. He, you so. didn't do anything wrong, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm here on this. You did nothing wrong. Your wife's a fucking cunt. <laughs> and you should leave her immediately. I hope you signed a prenup. I God mean, bless honestly, you. he should have left her when she proposed that and he didn't want to do it. Yeah, because she would have been fucking other guys anyway. Yeah. And now, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. You can go fuck other girls. Exactly. Yeah, boom. Yeah. So you could have just avoided this whole thing by ending the marriage and then doing this anyway. Yeah, because if you had just been like, no, like, because if you had been like, no, I'm going to leave you if you do this, then maybe she wouldn't have done it. Yeah, no, she's a bitch. Um, I mean, that's good. I just want to do two of those. I, I really like doing this little uh, thing where we talk about uh, people's problems. It makes me feel better about myself and I really enjoy it. Um, even <laughs> if it's just one or two of them a week, I, I, I really like that. Um, yeah. I'm so, glad we could do that for but you. But if you do like these... Let us know. If you don't like them, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> okay? Cool. Love you. Everyone keeps their mouth shut. Anyway, uh, no, we're on time. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Oh, my God. We didn't even talk about what last week. No, we're not talking about last week's episode. We're not? Not until next week. Ugh. Yeah. That's not how this works. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to another episode. Uh, we love you. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe to the podcast and rate us on Apple uh, Podcasts, that five star, right? Yeah, that five yeah, star. Yeah, that five star. And uh, yeah, we will catch you next week. Peace. Bye.